Now, Nobby Styles was the Manchester United and England footballing legend who won the World Cup in 1966. Charmed the nation with his post-match dance on the Wembley pitch, holding the World Cup trophy in one hand and his false teeth in the other. But when he passed away in 2020, Nobby became the fifth member of the Golden Boys from the 1966 World Cup to die, having suffered from dementia. Scientific evidence suggests that repetitive blows to the head during contact sports like football can cause significant damage to the brain. And Nobby's family are now taking legal action against the Football Association for alleged negligence over brain injuries. I'm joined now by Nobby's son, John Stiles. John, look, thank you very much. It's great to have you on the show. Uh, why are you taking the FA to court? Uh, quite simply, Patrick, it's because after three years of campaigning after my dad died to get help for players who were suffering with uh, CTE, dementia, um, uh, nothing's happened. So we've got to do something. It's too late for my dad. Um, just to fill you in, what the reason why we're so vehement about it is because when dad died, we donated his brain. And his brain was riddled with a disease called chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE. That can only be caused by head impacts. So we know that head in the ball killed my father. Nobody seems to know about this disease that killed my father. And I'm convinced that hundreds, if not thousands of players have died and are going to die because of it. And nothing is being done about it. And nothing is being done to help the families who are suffering from the same disease my father had with care home costs, all the rest of it. There's very little help that's been given to them. And that's why we want to shake things up and we want to get football to take care of this problem because it's a real, real problem. I mean, is the FA essentially trying to wash the hands of any responsibility here at the moment? Well, I can't go into details about the case, to be honest with you, Patrick, but if you want me to answer it overall in, in, with regards to football, then absolutely yes. I believe that football is washing its hands of it. It knows about it. Jeff Hurst's, uh, Jeff, Jeff Astle's coroner said 20 years ago that heading the ball killed him. And then in 2013, they found out that Jeff had CTE, the same as my father. This is a real problem. They don't, even doctors and coroners don't know to look for this disease. Now, obviously, there's other damage, frontal lobe damage, but specifically, this is what killed my father. And we need to get something done to sort this out. It's a scandal. It's an absolute scandal. Look, what can happen, I mean this with absolute respect, but obviously, sadly, it's, for, it's, it's too late for, for your dad, right? And it's too late for a lot of people from that era, right? So, re realistically, what can happen now? Well, what I want to see, Patrick, is a, a fund, a proper fund, not like the one that's been created recently. You see, in any other industry, Patrick, if you had workers dying of, a, of, a, a, of an injury from the job that they were doing, you would have a union protecting them. But the Footballers don't have a, a union that functions properly. It doesn't look after its members. It doesn't look after its ex-players. They're not looking be, being looked after because they've got to pay for health, health care funds and all the rest of it. So I want a fund. We want a fund created, a proper fund, that will take care of all the players who get dementia be from heading the ball to take care of the health care costs. And we want the players to be informed, the, the current players. I mean... I, went, I got kicked out of Doncaster Rovers, my ex-club, for handing out leaflets to players. Mm. And one of the car, I went outside and one of the cars came along and one of the lads opened the window, gave, gave a leaflet, and then the, the last car came and said, sorry, mate, we, they, they've just rung and said, we can't talk to you. So I, I've been trying to get the play. If you, if, I bet Harry Kane doesn't know about it. I bet Kyle Walker doesn't know about it. I bet Lucy Bronze doesn't know what CT is. And this mm. is a disgrace. They should know. And then they can make their own informed decision. I'm not saying take it heading out of football, but they should be able to... Did you know about CTE, Patrick, before I've just mentioned... No, no not really, no. No. Well, no. This, this is what I'm saying, and this is something to do with the national game. Mm. Heading the ball, what, hap what happens, Patrick, is you head the ball, a tau protein breaks off. If you don't have, a, have another impact, it settles down. Over the years, the footballers had t tens of thousands of balls. Mm. The tau protein clumps up, lodges on the brain and destroys it. And that's what killed okay. my father. And that's what right. we want to tell all the players about, Patrick. Well, I hope to talk to you again about this as it progresses. Good luck with everything that you're trying to do. That's John Stiles.
that uh, Nobby Siles' son, who is taking the FA to court, I can sense something brewing here, another kind of Postmaster-style scandal, an ITV docudrama in the making, I think, but there we go. Um, an FA spokesperson did say, thank you very much, uh, an FA spokesperson did say, uh, we're not able to comment on ongoing legal proceedings, we continue to take a leading role in reviewing and improving the safety of our game. This includes investing in and supporting multiple projects in order to gain a greater understanding of this area. Uh, exactly, so you can also just read the rest of that statement. It's on your screens right there, right now.